promising yourselves is an important step in maintaining healthy cultures. Good technique will lead to a healthy single cell suspension. There are many harvesting options depending on the cell line and application. For example, some researchers may be using dissociation reagents for chemically removing cells from the growth surface, while others may be using cell scrapers to remove colonies or strongly adherent cells. Some important questions to ask yourself prior to harvest are 1. Is this a strongly adherent or lightly adherent cell line? 2. Is it a sensitive or robust cell line? 3. What is your downstream application and how could your dissociation reagent impact your studies? Today we will discuss some tips and tricks for harvesting your cells. As many of you know, there are two types of cell lines, adherent and suspension-based cells. Here are the basic steps for optimal harvest of adherent cell lines. First, let's examine the cells. Here we can see the cells appear as a nice monolayer throughout the culture. Now that we have determined the cells are ready to harvest, we will aseptically remove the media from the flask. Next, we will rinse the vessel with a buffer solution, such as PBS, to remove any trace amounts of serum that could interfere with the dissociation reagents. For difficult to detach cell lines, a 10 to 15 minute soak in PBS prior to adding the dissociation reagent will help the cells dissociate from the vessel. Now we will aseptically remove the buffer solution from the vessel. and add the dissociation reagent, in this case trypsin, to the cells. Typically, the dissociation reagent is added at 0.02 to 0.03 mils per centimeter squared. Depending on your cell line, you may want to incubate the vessel at 37 degrees to promote dissociation. Here are a couple of examples of what the cells will look like when they are not ready to harvest, ready to harvest, and over-digested. Turbidity is a good indicator that the cells have detached. So now we are ready to quench or dilute the dissociation reagent, usually in a ratio of one to one, with either your buffer solution or media containing serum. In case the cells are very clumpy post harvest, you can use a cell strainer to achieve single cell suspension. Also, if your cells are very sensitive to the dissociation reagent, a centrifugation step may be necessary. Now your cells are ready to count to measure cell density and viability.